What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. Um, mic drop. The end of a cycle, perhaps? I've been hearing the name Sarah. Are there any Sarahs out there? I've, I've been hearing that name a lot. I don't know. Maybe this message is for you. Answer to the highest way late. What is the message? Regret is not your thing. Uh, a shift in perspective. We're always learning. Remember that, okay? Uh, everything that we've been through is a part of who we are, okay? I am healing. Yeah, somebody's healing, okay? Time is money. Reloading. Okay, so I feel like somebody is coming back in. Ooh, for a higher level of commitment. A divine marriage. Trust that, okay? Somebody is taking action towards uh, a commitment that they may have um, not been able to do before, reloading, okay? Uh, time is money, okay? So it's kind of like, I feel like somebody is also saying like, okay, yeah, that's fine, but time is money, don't, don't let me down. Unconditional love. Everlasting love. We have the player card though. And we have if I could turn back time. I'm hearing Ashley now. Um, if I could turn back time. Mmm. I thought you were my friend. So I feel like somebody, okay, so we have a people pleaser. Um who regrets like being friends with this person. Okay, can I be your boyfriend? Somebody wants to be your boyfriend? And, um, it might be good for you to be friends beforehand because you want this relationship to, um, you know, be long lasting. All right. Uh, you're making history together. Okay. So trust your self control. Um, pace yourself is what I'm also hearing. Somebody's hearts closed from the situation that they had to walk away from. All right, um, or from a situation that you may have had to walk away from, um, but you, you can't hide this feeling. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of magnetism between the two of you, you and your person. When I met you, it changed my entire life. I get that bag on the regular. So this is somebody who, uh, I feel like both of you are very busy. Definitely somebody needs to open, open, uh, open their heart, okay? Go outside, um, ground, you know, uh, be around the trees, the grass, the birds. Just, like, look around and have gratitude for everything that you see. I mean, go swing on the swings. Oh, swinging on swings are so fun. Go to a playground. Experience um, your inner child, you know? Bring that out. Experience joy. That helps to open up the heart chakra. Um, watch a funny movie, too. M make yourself laugh. Um, rose quartz and malachite are also very good for uh, opening up the heart chakra. I'm wearing malachite today, actually. I love malachite, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So um, I do have this in my um, Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. It, it feels like it feels like you're outside in a forest with a bunch of birds singing, receiving a hug from a tree. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's a fantastic feeling, okay? Break the boundaries. I feel like somebody is not used to love, and it's like we need to open up somebody's heart. Okay, that's just what I'm hearing. What else, spirit? Anything else? Don't think about other things. Release. Be in the present moment. Protect your solar plexus chakra. Somebody might need some um, tiger's eye or citrine. Um, malachite resonates with the heart chakra and the solar plexus chakra as well. Okay? Just saying. Um, heal. Somebody might need to heal and self-preserve. Um, you can do that while you're in a dynamic. So, um, I feel like a lot of people don't take relationships slowly and then they end up having to heal um, without their counterpart, but if you take relationships slowly, you can heal together, okay? So that's why it's important to um, trust your self-control. 
And um, what was the other message? Just take it slow. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. You better watch yourself. I did it all by myself. Okay, I feel like somebody is very strong and independent, but don't be too proud is also the message I'm receiving. Always on my mind. Somebody's always thinking about you. You might even be feeling that. You might even be thinking about them. That's a sign, typically, that somebody is thinking about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, open your eyes. I feel like listen to the signs that spirit might be showing you. Um, I feel like somebody's third eye chakra might be opening up or uh, needing to be opened up. Um, yeah, somebody needs to play more. Come out and play. Somebody needs to play more and uh, just have um, more joy in their life. Hustle on fleek. So I feel like we have like a workaholic here. I feel like there might be even two workaholics here. So um, yeah, purity. I feel like you are a very pure soul and you live life in the light. You are uh, highly awakened. Um, catch me if you can very independent. Um, if this is a twin flame dynamic, don't be a, um, don't be the runner now is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yes. I mean, do what you want, you know, <laughs> you, it's your life. You know what you, you want to do, you know, you know, what's best for you. But, um, within the twin flame dynamic, oftentimes there's a runner chaser dynamic and you really want to, it's usually, one person has to, either two people can come together and have a conversation um, about the twin flame dynamic if they both know about the twin flame dynamic. Um, otherwise, one person just needs to like stabilize and, um, and, and then the t runner the chaser dynamic typically ends at that point. Okay, so it's up to you though, all right? Aw, your love is sweet like candy rain. So I feel like there's this like young youthful love feeling between you and your person. Always on my mind. Yes, always on my mind. Uh, mic drop. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like uh, this is, this is um, actually the end of the reading. <laughs> That's the message that I'm receiving. But, um... Yeah, I feel like somebody had a karmic narcissist in their life, and it's like, don't worry. Um, you can heal and love at the same time, is the message I'm receiving with, uh, now I need a therapist and the karmic narcissist, and don't worry. And um, just remember that your body is a, is a temple, and you are full of um, divine light. And uh, listen to your intuition and trust your intuition as well, okay? I really do feel like that is the um, end of the reading. And I've also got I do, okay? But obviously you guys just use discernment. Um, these are general readings. There are a lot of messages for a lot of people. But this was a really beautiful reading. I'm so happy that I did it. Um, if you would like a personal reading, please feel free to contact me. 616-485-3479. You can text me. And... Um, did I tell you guys that I have an Etsy shop? I can never remember if I suggest the crystals or if I also recommend, or I also um, tell you that I have an Etsy shop. But I have an Etsy shop with most of the crystals that I mentioned. I think there was Tiger's Eye, Rose Quartz, Malachite. Malachite! Oh, it feels so good. Um, and I will leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. I'm also hearing Lapis Lazuli, but just take what resonates. This throat chakra. If somebody was dealing with a narcissist, Lapis Lazuli is always good, okay? Um, all right. I hope that you guys are doing really, really good. Uh, thank you for being here. Don't forget to comment and, um, like, and also subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Uh, join the party, join the tribe. And, um, yeah, definitely leave me a comment. Just say hi. I love hearing from you. And, um, like as well. It's, uh, um, you know, it makes me, it, it a little bit easier for me to be able to tap into, um, you know, your energy so that you are included in the general readings. So, all right. Love you guys so very much. Uh, until next time. Bye.